All right, all right, I'm Coach Horn. Who are you? JT Horn. That's JT, that's my son, yeah. So what we're going to do is I want to uh, share with you my experiences of my shoes getting ready for this marathon. I'm going to start off with the first shoes I ever got. And I want you to know there's some trial and error in this. I've gone, I went to a few uh, places and they try to measure my feet, pick out the right shoe. And I found that, I mean, they can help. But you got to experiment. You got to get out there and figure things out. And what's crazy is, yeah, dude, sing it for them. Anyway, but you got to experiment. And I found out, all right, here's the first one. And I went after the Hoka's. So I got into the Hoka party here. The Hoka Rincon. And I love this shoe. It was, I mean, it was awesome shoe. It's, I mean, it's super light. I'm talking the, what got me was the lights. I mean, it's so light. There, you just throw them on your feet. You feel like you're wearing slippers. So I ran into these for a couple months. Now, I'm going to say something crazy. About it. For some reason, my feet, right here in the middle, started getting like a bunion, like right there. And it started squeezing my feet, and I started getting this pain. And I just, I kind of got frustrated with them because I loved them, but at the same time, I was making this pain in my foot. So I went and I cut them out. $115 pair of shoes is actually pretty cheap for a Rincon, but I cut those bad boys out right there, and I wear them every now and then, but I'm not going to run any anymore. I really, I'm not. But So if you've got a like a normal foot, I think mine's kind of weird but because it's through that knot out right there. If you got a normal foot, this is the way to go. Some people say they don't like the squishy, but I love it. You see how wide that is? I mean, I felt stable. I actually did some trail runs in it. It was pretty good. And, uh, yeah, this is a good shoe. I love the Hoka Rincon, except for that bad boy. If that didn't happen to me, I'd, I'd keep it going. Say it, buddy. Yes, Jesus loves me. Oh, the Bible tells me so. All right, so then I went back. I started doing some research. And I, I liked the big plushness of the Rincon. So I wanted to go with a different shoe that did basically the same thing. And I found that Asics. All right, Glide Ride. Check that bad boy out. Uh-huh. Now, this is the shoe I end up running the marathon in. And I tell you, I fell in love with it. At first, it's got an awkward feel. Really not because of the, you know, how much pitch is right here or how much it curves up. It curves up a lot. It really does. To me, it was the heel. It seemed a lot thinner than the Rincon. And you can see the, the difference there. The Rincon's heel is much wider. And I felt like I was not as stable this way back and forth in the glide ride. Actually, one of the early runs in on my, I stepped on a pine cone early in the morning. The sun was down. I was using the headlights, stepped on a pine cone and whoosh, twisted my ankle. Uh, that was not good, but I, I stuck with it and fell in love with these. I like them. I'm actually going to buy a couple more pair, I'm sure. The ASIC Rincon. Uh, actually, sorry. The ASICs Glide Ride, and they're awesome. I love them. They're, they're heavier. They're about four ounces heavier. I want to say they're 11 ounces. These were seven. Yeah. So this is what I ran it in. Yes. And they worked really well. I, I liked them. I think I could have just kept going, going, going. No problems in my feet at all today. Uh, I, just, I thought there would be some soreness or something that hurt somewhere, but no problems at all. Yeah. So... Yes, the A6 Glide Rod. Oh, I hate, I'll tell you something I hate about it, though. Just walking around, oh, awful shoes. They feel really weird walking around. They don't do a good job when you're walking around. Uh, so if you're going to be walking or hiking or whatever, I'm not going with these. These are for your pavement, running, and trying to run a little bit of speed. I didn't like running like 10-minute miles. I did not like that. I felt like it was sit, making me sit back. You need something where you're kind of getting up on your toes a little bit. makes you want to roll. So my mileage, I was, you know, between 7.30 and 9 minutes, I felt good. But once you started getting around 9.30, 10, I did not like this. All right, there you go. Asics, glide, ride. Now, 
Got a little surprise for you. Yes. Excited about this. So, got it. Opening up a box. Yes. Wife doesn't even know about this. Check it out. I already opened up the top. This is ordered these off of Amazon. These are going to be some of my new trail running shoes. Yes. Yeah, so check it out. Whoosh. 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 Now, what I did is I went to a foot specialist store, tried on a bunch of different ones. Found these, wasn't sure I wanted to buy them. Then I found a discount online. I was like, I got to do it. So we've got some New Balance. That's right. This is the way it came from Amazon in that box right there. Let's open it up. The New Balance. All right. Ooh. Let's see this. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. I'll just pull one of them out. And pull them both out. Look at these sweet boys. Yes. Uh-huh. You like that? That's a good looking shoe. So, mm -hmm. yes. The new balance. Got the tread on there. The way it's advertised, it's like they're trail running shoes, but they're also like you can run them on the street, but more trail running shoes. Just look at one of them. Got a little sticker right here on the side. Yes, look at that. It says Vibram right there. Mega Grip. Wife doesn't know it, but she does now. She's peeking at me. Got some trail running shoes. Yeah. Uh-huh. She rolled her eyes at me. New Balance Fresh Foam. That's right. Fresh Foam. And it says H-I-E-R-R-O. Hairo. I'm not sure what that means. Pull this bad boy out. That was stuffed in it. So New Balance, see the bottom, New Balance Trail. Excited about this. This could be fun. This could be good. Let's see if I can get a little more light on it. Could be good. Yes. Kind of excited about this. Here's the other one. New Balance Trail. Yes, the trail shoe. I'm hoping they fit me really well. I will get back with you on that. It's got a toe protector up in the front. And I, I notice a lot of toe protectors that sometimes they're really hard in the front. And as you're running, you jam your foot, your toe in the front. Jam, 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 jam. And that just doesn't feel very good. But this is kind of soft. So I'm hoping that that's not going to be a problem at all. But there you go, guys. I'll, let, I'll come back and let you know how these go. The New Balance. That's a sweet looking shoe. Yes, it is. They have a bunch of different colors. They have one color that was black and gold. Almost got them, but they're a little bit too flashy for me. So there you go, guys. Thank you for watching my little sh shoe review. Dealing with my marathon. I wonder if I can wear over on a marathon in these. Ooh, yeah, I love the smell of the new shoes. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. Thanks for paying attention. All right, all right. I'm Coach Horn. I'm out.